What is up, sucker faces? Today, I have something pretty cool for you guys that I've made here in Minecraft using only a resource pack. I've, I've always wanted to do this, and I've had it out on paper, but I can't. I could never implement it into the actual game. But I finally got it working, and I have been working on it a lot, uh, including other elements of uh, Minecraft. But I'm not going to share that yet. That's for later on. But uh, I'm just going to show you guys a stage of what I've done so far. So, um... Basically, and remember, this is only using a resource pack, so it's it's um it's pretty cool. And uh, I'll I'll tell you guys at the at the end how I actually did it and uh, what's actually going on here. So if we grab a stone pickaxe, we can mine this new looking ore, and we will get the ore. And it says, as you can see at the bottom, snow shard ore. So we have a new ore, kind of a new ore, not really a new ore at all. And uh, we're we're just gonna smelt that, and we will get. Uh, something new here. Unlike anything you've ever seen before, we're going to get a snow shard. So if we take the snow shard, uh, we already have 64 of them, and we put it two here, we can make a snow shard sword, plus six attack damage. And if we do the same with uh, all the other tools you can make, we can make a snow shard shovel. We can make a... Um, whoops. Oh, no, there we go. We can make a snow shard hoe. We can make a snow shard pickaxe. Um, we can make a snow shard axe. And we can even go as far as doing the armor. We'll do the pants. The helmet. Uh, what else we got? We got the boots we gotta do. We can do the boots. And last but not least, we can do the chest plate. So now we've created all the snow shard gear and tools and the weaponry. And uh, let's have a look at all of it. So first off, we've got the snow shard sword. If we can uh, we can kind of drop it here and have a have a peek at it, have a gander at it. Uh, these I've created all myself with uh, just using paint.net, and uh, I, I think they all look pretty cool. So each of them have a sort of uh, snowy, wintry look to them. Like they all have uh, sort of snowflakey kind of limbs to them, I guess you could say. Besides the pickaxe, the pickaxe I couldn't really implement that too well without it looking odd. But I think all of them look pretty good. They all have the respective names to them as well: snow and snow shard sword, snow shard shovel. Snow Shard Hoe, Snow Shard Pickaxe, Snow Shard Axe, Snow Shard, and then we've got the Snow Shard Helmet, Snow Shard Leggings, Snow Shard Chestplate, and Snow Shard Boots. And if we want to take a look at these, I guess we can kind of drop, yeah, we can kind of drop them up there. You can see they have like little snowflakes implemented into the armor. Drop the pants. You can see the snowflakes there too. Helmet, snowflakes. And the... Did I show the boots already? No, I don't think I did. And the boots. You got the snowflakes. So, um... Yeah, I think this is really cool. I've been I've been wanting to do this for quite some time, and I've finally figured out how to do it. So it got me really excited. It got me really motivated. And I, uh, and I just went for it. And actually what's going on here is... I've basically just retextured all of the iron items in the game and I have put them into snow shard items including uh, the iron ingots and all of that good stuff and I've actually renamed all of them too. That was the biggest problem for me was renaming all of them. I, could, I couldn't figure that out and that's why I was having so much trouble with it when I said I, I had it on paper but I couldn't actually implement it. But I, uh, I figured it out. It wasn't hard whatsoever. I just couldn't find like a tutorial on it. I kind of had to teach myself how to do it. And so now we have all of this beautiful snow shard stuff. So the cool thing about this is you can actually basically like recreate Minecraft with it. And uh, that's what I'm planning to do here is I can actually recreate Minecraft, make new tools, uh, new weapons. I mean, they'll all have the same stats and everything, but they'll have different aesthetics, different names. And um, it's going to be really cool, and I am hoping it all turns out well. The only thing I don't enjoy is that you uh, have to keep this uh, iron 
aesthetic to the actual armor when it's when you're wearing it so if i went into f5 here see it looks just like iron armor so that, that's the only thing i don't like i haven't figured out a way to fix that uh, because i can't find the actual armor uh textures anywhere in the texture pack but uh yeah i've basically i took another texture pack i can't remember the name of it it's like xeno something and uh, i've been working on it from there because uh, this texture pack is really nice and I enjoy the look of it. And I've just been uh, taking the tools and stuff from this. And implementing my own tools and whatnot. So um, I've got some more. I'll, every time I make a new set of uh, tier of stuff. So like diamond, gold, stone, and wood. I will share it with you guys. And uh, hopefully I can eventually share with you uh, the... What I've been doing for the nether and what I've been doing for the different bosses. It's going to be really cool. I'm hoping it all turns out well. And as always, if you guys liked it, make sure to drop a like. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. And I will see all of your beautiful faces. Like that.